you want it. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Go ahead and preview that. I'll pause it while it renders. Actually, it's rendering pretty fast. Alright, I forgot where I was. I got a phone call, so... <laughs> But yeah, anyway, I just added the displacement to it, and uh, after the vector blur, and you know, it just it just adds those the thinner tendrils to it. So you know, it's just basically showing what you know how to get more fluidy fire. But uh, you know, I don't want to go too much. Already, I can't believe how long this tutorial is just to show you fire. But <laughs> uh, you know, at least it gives you ideas of what you can do with it. So. But yeah, that's pretty much it uh, for fire anyways. Uh, so mm, next time I guess we'll go through smoke and we'll go through f uh, the simulate uh, fluid mapping and maybe textures onto the fire to even give more detail. And you know, once we get in smoke, lighting of course. There's, you know, there's so much more to go through. Uh, lighting, multi using multi scattering really, uh, you know, just adds a much better look to the fire, especially when you have to smoke in there. I mean, it's there's just so many things to go through. Um, but, you know, at least if you want to know how to do fire, especially one of these torch-looking things, uh, there you go. That's going to show you how to do that. It shows you how to render it, get in the After Effects. And, uh, but that's pretty much it. Sorry the tutorial was too long, um, but, you know, you got to go through the details, and there's a lot to learn with this, so... You know, that's pretty much how long all the tutorials, I think, are going to be per thing, you know. <laughs> that's why it took so long for me to make one to get the time to actually do. You know, alone time where no kids are in the background and all that stuff, so. Alright, so hopefully uh, the cam program, cam recording program doesn't crash when I go to save the file. I hate when that happens. Uh, sometimes Camtasia uh, crashes right when you go to save and you have to redo the tutorial all over again, so that's a real pain in the butt. <laughs> And that makes it even more frustrating to do tutorials on it. Uh, Fume effects tutorials suck though, because they're just they're you know there's so many details. It just takes so long to explain everything. All right, I uh, hope that helps, um, and hopefully we'll see you in next tutorial.